Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2, War of the Chosen. Mission Impossible, aka the legendary Iron Man Army of Two run, where we're trying to beat the game in the highest difficulty mode with only two soldiers per mission. It's month number nine and we're looking at the next retaliation mission. I think it's retaliation mission number six. And uh, things elsewise look pretty good, but retaliation missions are actually becoming more and more of a burden for us because we almost lost all of them. It's just extremely difficult to win them with only two uh, people in the mission. Um, other than that, a couple of updates. I as, as At the time of this recording, uh, the fourth episode has launched and I can see that uh, the Army of Two run seems to become a great success. So uh, it's interesting to, uh, to, uh, to see because, of course, I didn't spoil anything. Um, but uh, people raised a lot of skepticism. And knowing that I'm already at mission number 30 actually made me snicker when I uh, was uh, seeing that. But, of course, that doesn't mean by no stretch of the imagination that this run here is going to be easy. We're most likely going to still lose the game at some point. Um, but we made it until run number uh, or mission number 30, which is already pretty good. Anyways, um, we do have Outrider plus Edgar Alien Poe with us. As you can see, everyone else is on a bond mission or uh, is currently training their negative traits off. So that's actually a pretty decent pack. I learned out of the last time where Edgar Allan Poe nearly died uh, to at least get a healing uh, pack with us. And that's pretty much it. Uh, Edgar needs to have ammunition and a grappling hook. So let's see how the two of them are doing. Mm. I'm mildly curious as of how the actual missions are going to play out. I think out of the five other um, retaliation strikes, we have won only one or two, and every single other one was a loss. And uh, there is a reason for it. Uh, so let's talk. Uh, let's talk retaliation strikes really quick. Retaliation strikes kind of assume that you are in the enemy phase from round number one onwards. In this, uh, this far into the game, uh, it assumes that you have at least laser weapons, which we do, um, and six soldiers. So it's nigh impossible to, to just have uh, the amount of damage that we would need in order to kill the enemies, which means we need to do uh, some sleazy tactics and sneak in a couple of rescues before we are getting caught out. Nice little high ground here, by the way. So first question is, hopefully we don't get too many berserks because they were quite a pain in the in the neck the last time. There's an alien patrol nearby. Do we want to be greedy? Yes. Says I am to obey. Get out of oh no. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, so that is actually a problem. Two chrysalids here. Ah, that changes the entire game. So why are chrysalids so dangerous on uh, terror, uh, on retaliation missions? Twofold. A, the mission type itself is um, is playing very much in their uh, in their favor. Um, all of the civilians here can turn into chrysalis nests and um, yeah you end up with just fighting a swarm of chrysalis which absolutely sucks secondly as soon as they bur uh, burrow um, you will see that they have around kind of a six squares wide perimeter that allows them to see um, every unit and just ambush them that includes dragonova so with them being here, unless something changes, we actually have a problem. They haven't buried yet, so that's good. Wow, wow, tons of them. Uh. 
<laughs> that is bad. Okay, we do have a problem. To be precise, Houston, we do have a massive problem. We can hit three of them. Move into here. Back into the shadows. By the way, we can't remote start anything, so we're using the Claymore. High ground. Um, I was hoping we would be able to shoot the claymore, but we aren't. We can now move a bit and then shoot the claymore, or Or we hand it over to Dragonova and let her shoot the Claymore. I actually want to save teamwork for once. This here seems to be a decent spot. Problem with that spot is it's it can't see the captain half cover half cover i think this is still the best spot we would get wow that's risky hmm. let me think that through I guess we're going with the teamwork. Going. Let's soften up the Mac. Okay, okay. Well, that was not a softening up, that was actually a full, full-fledged kill. Nah. And the problem starts. Like right there. Four T hit points. That's so stupid. Moving as ordered. All right, let's clear this area. Gosh, more of them. I wanted to sneak a couple of civilians in and I mean we cleared two packs that was good I suppose the question is where are the others I saw some chrysalids over there burying hmm. Are there more? So, yeah, the question is where are the civilians? <laughs> where are the civilians, right? That's the end of the map, so there's a lower chance that there are civilians over here. 
There's a good chance that there's some nice little loot here. But I uh, still have like light hopes that we might... Oh, there are, there are the civilians. I still have light hopes that we maybe, just maybe, actually can win. So it'll spawn new chrysalids. We can no longer hide. Of course, we're being completely randomly walked into and critted. I've never seen them just walk into you. But hey, First time for everything, I suppose. Placing the weapon. So if we pull this off, Chrysalid will die. Everyone else gets injured. Worst thing that could happen is a Codex survives, and that shouldn't be a problem. Definitely need to heal ourselves soon. This here will just be a psionic bomb, and that's about it. I don't think that that's a problem. Matter of fact, we're just going to reload for now. The Codex is not taking a shot if it can psi bomb. And there's the psi bomb. Difficult decision with the Codex. We need to kill the Chrysalid. I don't want any more Chrysalids. So I suppose that's the way we need to go. On the other hand, there is um, either max damage or a crit, so there is about a 60% chance that we kill the Codex right away. Wouldn't be the worst either. Worst case scenario, it's being left with 1 HP. And since the Chrysalid is in range of our pistol, and we do have death from above. I think we should try to kill the Codex and then go for the Chrysalid. Of course, one hit point, minimum damage. Okay, shit happens. Okay, how do we get far enough away from the chrysalid? Probably this here. Huh, nice. It's getting better and better. Luckily, we did not try to rescue yet another civilian.
Okay, Puh. The trees in the way. That's a bit of an issue. We can't kill the chrysalid on our own. That's not possible. Codex will teleport, so that's not good either. Can't restells. We need to reload, but then we can't move, and the uh, and the chrysalid will probably get us. Could heal and reload, which means we would at least survive the attack of the chrysalid. It's probably what we're going to do. Just got the codex here. We can re grapple back up. Not optimal. We could go into Shadowfall, uh, but uh, then we can't over. Uh, we can Overwatch, but Overwatch wouldn't trigger. I'm debating with myself whether I accept the 99% which seems to be tempting, or if I go and take the safe route and use lightning hands. I think we can go with the 99. Alright, Eltrana is back in business. Gosh, I didn't know that he would be able to reach us. Well, Altrana definitely needs support. That's for sure. I almost lost her. That's That was a stupidity, by the way. Should have never even considered standing there. Lightning hands and face off afterwards. Well, we're at one hit point, so <laughs> we need to be a bit careful. There's another civilian here, by the way. My watch Luckily, she has the medkit, otherwise she would, uh, I would have needed to evac her. Because she has chrysalid poison, and chrysalid poison never stops. If we forcefully trigger another pack, I will evac.
We know there is another pair of chrysalids here, which with the right preparation we can take. We still have one more um, faceless one, and we killed two picks at the beginning. A faceless one. And I suppose another pack, yeah, right, the the Spectre plus Codex. Right, there is the second faceless one. Which means every other alien is in fa uh, every other civilian is not an alien. Damn. I wish we could remote start him. There is another chrysalid over here. Need to be careful. I really don't want to trigger it. This here is far enough away to pull him over. Sniper rifles unfortunately get a, get a negative to hit if you're overwatching with them. So let's just pistol overwatch and wait for it to move. Nice. It does not automatically go and kill civilians. What a refreshing situation. I am trusting you. Go on, run. All right. I know that it can't dodge, which means this here is 100% going to kill him. We get death from above, so we got another overwatch. And we're going to go into pistol overwatch. Unfortunately, this time we weren't successful. But we still got lightning hands and two additional shots. Oh yeah, we, we should easily be able to do that. Even without using lightning hands. Yeah. As long as we don't deal minimum damage, we should be fine. Go. 
I'm careful. I really don't want to trigger anything else. So we're just standing here overwatching for now. Hmm. Not the best pos uh, not the best situation to be in because Eltrana just ran out of ammunition. So let's check where the chrysalid is at. All right, over there. Nice little lightning hands. Uh, could have been more damage. Target eliminated. I'm reloading. No one will crawl. Whew. Surprisingly, little amount of um, of civilians are dying at the moment, and I guess that's thanks to our Rambo technique, where we were basically pulling two packs in the first round, and ever since uh, fighting the chrysalids, that was definitely not intended. Okay, let's wait a couple of rounds. I think we got all of the chrysalids. I really just want to make sure we're fine. Reload Overwatch. That did not sound like a chrysalid. Sounded more like a sectoid. No, also not a sectoid. Mm -mm. Strange sound. I am at your service. This sounds like Advent. Let's blow the car up. Well, it sounded like a couple of Advent radio signals. Oh, come on. One more turn until we can blow up the next um, explosive target. Seem to be standing right next to an explosive. I don't want to scout with Eltrana, she's too low and Edgar actually has a pretty solid position up here. All right. That's good enough for a starter. It sounded as if someone would be taking damage. All right, Eltrana can't scout. So we're taking the grapple hook over here.
And that's a beautiful example how Advent managed to yet again sneak in to yet again sneak in and just wait. All right, we're starting with Lightning Hands. Hard target, minimal damage. He will definitely die with the next shot. Which brings us to the Stun Monster. Who unfortunately dodged. Uh, Stun Lance is my main concern. Let's start with a nice little face off first. Target neutralized. All right, Stun Lance is pretty much down. Stun Lancer will not move first, actually the uh, Priest will move first, so Overwatch will not help against the Stun Lancer. Stun Lancer also will most likely take Edgar Alien Poe, because he is not in cover, but that's not 100% ensured. Standing here is definitely not the best idea. So if we were to move back, wouldn't be a bad idea, just from a survivability standpoint. Yeah, 60% chance to kill the Stun Lancer I think is not good enough and unfortunately we don't have any more teamwork which we could ha hand over, so that's a bummer. Which means let's get into full cover. Edgar will be safe with the exception of the Stun Lancer. You're not controlling me. Nice. Yeah, I forgot we got tactical analysis. Which effectively means that we are pretty much, uh, the, we were pretty much immune. So tactical analysis is if we spot them on our turn, which we did, they only get one turn. Uh, so the Sun Lancer could couldn't have walked to our um, operatives, which I should have considered with uh, when thinking about the strategy. Now, Stun Lancer needs to die, which um, leads me to believe if we move here, we can accomplish that feat. Well, Edgar will stand here in half cover and be a better target than Eltrana and use his position to kill the Stun Lancer. It's unbelievable how the Stun Lancer dodged Altrana's shot, and Altrana did minimum damage. Can't do anything against Stasis. Tell me. 
Going into full cover again. Alright, next turn will be nasty because we're getting out of stasis. That means uh, he's probably going to burn um, Edgar Allan Poe. Another mind control attempt. Luckily, again, not successful. Yeah, that will probably hit. Figured. So we're hunkering down. I loaded these cartridges myself. And let's move into full cover out of line of sight. Because I really don't want to take a shot. His abilities are on cooldown. Luckily, we still have civilians. Come on. Crit him. Oh my gosh, so little damage. Five points of damage. Well, now he's going for sustenance. Gotta hate the priests. He has one turn. He moves into cover and tries the mind control. Great. Oh, wow. What a tough mission. Get out. Get out. Get out. Uh, they got me. I'm on it. Are we actually still having another pack? Oh, yet another chrysalid. Hmm. I'm surprised uh, that we cannot see it. Hmm. I know it was here, which means it must have moved to there, which is very unfortunate. So naturally we're moving over here. I don't want to deal with the chrysalid that close.
eventually we will run into it. Okay, it's still there. Wow, tension in this mission. I wasn't expecting such a nail biter. Mm. It's moving behind the shack. We can find it right away, which we can't. If we could find it right away, I am at your service. we could actually kill it. My watch Come get quiet. Did you hear something? Oh, it's far away now. It's moving around the map. Oh, I know, by the way, what uh, was responsible for this grumbling sound. It was uh, the station here. Interesting. Okay, so we know it's somewhere here in the water. Yet we can't get to it. We need to be very careful, they can run high distances. Okay, it's still moving around the map, I think it's trying to find civilians. Which makes sense, it's trying to reproduce. Going up. We have hit it once, so if we can find it, we can actually kill it. They're running somewhere in the dark. I don't know why. I am trusting you. I'm on it. Hmm. Oh, come on. <laughs> now it's running even further to that side. It must be in range soon. The trees are in the way. That's the only bummer.
Let's check if we can find it. Still nothing. So I don't think that there is another pack here. So I'm getting a bit cocky and standing in the open. Okay, come on. This guy, this guy can't run forever. Is it still not down? One hit point. Okay, well. Valiant effort, but it wasn't enough. Whew. Such a close mission. Oh my god. And it took us only 40 turns. Easy. Yeah, the chrysalids throw us off guard a bit. Because Altrana is really not good against chrysalids. Eighteen days, wow. Well, we got nine civilians. That's, I think, the most I've ever gotten uh, with um, kind of a challenge run. Even plus 27 supplies. <laughs> Lucky us, I suppose. Nice. More resistance contacts are helpful. I think we're going to take the other supplies real quick. And then I would go for another resistance contact. Currently also building resistance contacts. So what's the North American? Oh, wait a second. North America has double agent as a bonus. On every mission, there's a chance that an advent unit will join you. Okay, North America is our next target. That is so good, guys. It's just awesome. Um, the huge advantage of Double Agent is we would have, besides the bonus of Africa with Voluntary Army, we would have a second chance that someone would join uh, these missions. And that is actually great. I've never had both of them trigger at the same time. So I don't know if it technically could happen. But the chance is definitely higher. And we just got our Commander, bond level two. Ring facility and deploy our idle soldiers on a covert action with the resistance. Which now finally allows us to go into covert option, uh, actions. We are definitely reducing the avatar progress. That's why we left them here in the first place anyways. So might as well use Renvan. OK. 
Good. So that should reduce the avatar progress even further. Let's confirm. And go. And once we are having Altrana back from her severe injury, I think it was 16 days, right? Yeah, 17 days, well. Wow. Okay, once she's back, we can infiltrate the alien facility. I definitely only want to do that with Altrana, because in this alien facility we do have one of the alien rulers, and I want to spot him out and kill him with a sniper. Strike by strike. Asia's bonus is 20% to research. Hmm. Greater resolve is okay, but it's by far not as good as double agent. Double agent plus voluntary army is a really nice bonus. And tactical analysis is also pretty strong. Okay, so we're going with resistance contacts because uh, we wanted to go to North America. Also, we need a bit more income. Uh, we do have 300 supplies, which we could use for building a tower or upgrading weapons, which we currently can't because we have not enough valerium and not enough alloys. And we need the intel to make, uh, to make contact. So let's get the resistance contact, then build a radio tower here and slowly start um, grinding our way to North America. Resistance contacts are always really, really helpful. If you can get them via scanning, it's like a free building. So many have suffered for your efforts. That sucks. I know who is going to attack us next um, month. Okay, so wait a second. Got an engineer as an option. The loss are always a nice little add-on. And uh, that would be destroying an alien relay, okay. Recover an item from a train. Oh, I think we need to do that. Show force is just brutal. I don't want more enemies. And robotic units are actually not a big problem. Yeah, so it's probably going to be this mission here, Operation Half Dead Vagabond. <laughs> That's a beautiful name. Such a good name. Yeah, we're going to do Operation Half Dead Vagabond, uh, Vagabond in the next uh, video, guys. As always, if you have enjoyed it, um, please leave a comment down below. And uh, like I mentioned, uh, we're a bit further into the run already, uh, whilst only the fourth uh, episode had been aired. And one of our viewers asked for a character, which I offered. So Data here will soon have a new call sign, will probably be a male, and um, he uh, once we're done with the remodeling, I uh, will then uh, be... Oh no, you know what? We're going to give our uh, new viewer, Magister Anderson. We're just going to give him a new call sign. Then he is the protagonist of this run, because I love Mr. Anderson. And having a viewer take over a Templar is a pretty solid idea. All right. Thank you for watching and see you all in the next run. Bye-bye.